14 new and peacekeepers are killed and more than 50 wounded in worst attack on United Nations troops in recent history in Congo. 14 peacekeepers have been killed and at least 53 have been wounded in an attack on a UN mission base in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo, the UN has said. At least five Congolese soldiers were also killed in Thursday's attack in North Kivu province, United Nations spokesman Farhan Hack said. UN peacekeeping chief Jean-Pierre Lacroix called the attack the worst in recent UN history and a war crime. The province has remained a hotbed of armed militias, who continue to battle for control over the mineral-rich countryside despite the end of a major war over a decade and a half ago. It's a very huge attack certainly the worst in recent memory, Hack said, adding that the peacekeepers are mainly from the Tanzanian contingent. Peacekeepers had repelled an attack by fighters with the Allied Democratic Forces rebel group on a UN base in the Beni area, reported Radio Okapi, which is linked to the peacekeeping mission known as Monisco. The base is home to the peacekeeping mission's rapid intervention force, which has a rare mandate to go on the offensive. The radio station citing military sources, said fighting lasted four hours. It reported that Congolese forces did not intervene because the closest ones were several miles away. The mission said it was coordinating a joint response with the Congolese army as well as medical evacuations of the wounded from the base in North Kivu's Beni territory UN peacekeeping chief Lacroix said he is outraged by the attack. Our thoughts and prayers with families and our colleagues in Monisco, peacekeeping mission. Reinforcements are on scene and medical evacuations by mission ongoing, Lacroix, Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping, wrote. The UN peacekeeping mission in Congo is the largest and most expensive in the world and is aimed at calming a number of armed groups in the vast, mineral-rich Central African nation.